for just 22% from three-point range. Trey Cal is the key player for them. Second window. He couldn't join due to China's travel restrictions. And they are without two of their biggest scorers from the first two games. Reza Ifar is uh, not available as well. Those two combined to average 27 points over the first window. He and Hadadi. Here is their main man, Trey Kell, spins baseline, gets the mid-range jumper to go. Perfect start for Syria, defensive stop. It's pass in transition, here comes Kell, he's not going to miss those. Trey Kell with all four of Syria's points. Trey Kell, around the high screen, Kell step back, three-point shot, got it! Rami Paul seeing so much of it, draws the near triple team, kicks it back out. Shot on the perimeter, falls short. Cal with the rebound and a chance now to go through the gears and attack the Iranian defense all the way through. He'll go to the line for two. The finals MVP awards. And only took two shots on Saturday to score just two points in 24 minutes, but he did have a big contribution on the defensive end. Here's Cal, pirouette into the paint, ran into traffic. He's been able to avoid the second foul. Look to tie maybe even take the lead here. It's Cal! A Trey Cal clinic in the first quarter. Don't forget to stick around after this match. And then after the big dunk from Cal. The host walks front and the winner for the climb into second. He's getting him back door momentarily. Blocked off under the hoop though. Here's Cal then. Off the pass. And that last basket sparks Syria back into life on offense. A foul on the shot. State Aztecs before graduating in 2018. Who now coaches him on the national team for Syria as well, Joe Salerno. Spins on the perimeter. And on the foul line to the elbow, takes the jumper, mid-range, knocks it down. Trey Cal again. Quick pass to the far side, looking for the quick repost and they get it. And the baseline will be defensively dogged and diligent. It was Cal getting back. Syria by two. Quick pass down the floor. They're in behind again. Wanting to hand it off with that long limb to Cal. Cal, left hand dribble drive. Gets all the way through and scores. Trey Cal. Cal has 20. Bakar has been the unlikely hero. But what a shot from Trey Cal. Jabby to the far side, Cal for three, got it! Cal the crossover into the lane, into traffic. And aggression and bravery from Trey Cal. Cal dishes around the corner, on the reverse, pretty finish, back up. Blazing down the baseline, running into traffic again, Yuk Shalid. As we enter the final three minutes. Sheikh Ali this time getting straight up with both hands. And then Cal, I think it was who batted it back beyond the baseline from behind. Look at Syria putting everything into this. Pass out of the double team. Cal attacking and fouled. Two sets of players putting it all on the line. And he does. Syria to the far side, have to be careful with the ball, it's into the hands of their main man Kel. He's trapped far sideline and a foul. I have to just hold off a moment. Kel keeps his cool and makes them both. Too many seconds off the clock, there's the three from deep, doesn't go. Rebound, Trey Kel with the towering take. He's combined really well with his teammates. Syria summon their superpowers to down one of the superpowers of continental basketball. Look what it means to the Syrian camp as they go two and two for this qualifying campaign. And know that they are within touching distance. Maybe just one more win away from a place at the 2022 Asia Cup. And there's their superhero. Trey Cal, 34 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists and 2 blocks tonight. And they're not just 2-2, two and two, but they're 2-2 two and two, having already played both of their games against Iran.
One of the great wins for Syrian basketball here. Very much on the up. Under coach Joe Salerno and with their new recruit Trey Cal, but so many others. Trey Cal steals the spotlight, but it's a Syrian story of success.